Hello guys, it's Jeffrey recording the slides for Management 490 Data Mining with Dr. Leham. And here's the slides that's going to guide you through the homework. This, uh, these two graphs are the results that we expect to see from your turning and we're going to walk through how, do, how we are going to do this. So here are the two results that we expect to see from your turnings and I'm going to walk you through from originally from the scratch on from installing the software, installing VMware, and installing all the Teradata stuff. So first thing first, if you are interested in learning more about Teradata, you can come to teradatauniversitynetwork.com and get registered here. Put your school email and set up your passcode. You got basically everything you need. And special shout out for Dr. Shada Ramesh and Mr. Pakush Kalgotra from Oklahoma State University. They make this possible and thank you very much. So let's start with downloading the software. So when you, are, you, you can come to the link, I will put the link here as well as in your homework file. Come here, download the Acer Express 6.1 for VMware in and the VMware Player 7.1 as well as the Teradata Studio. This is all the stuff you need. And after downloading, you will get the file, a single file. And when you open the file, you will have three files inside. Worker, Queen, and Resource. And in this homework, we are going to work with the Queen and the Worker. So after, just put it on your local hard drive. It requires around 12 gigabytes of that. Of such file, let me take a look. Yep, it requires 19 gigabytes. So this is how the works, uh, the VMware Workstation 12 Pro will look like. And after the right installation, it should look like this. But I'm going to guide you guys through how to make this possible step by step. And I'm going to power off the worker. Oops. Turn it off. Yes. And for the queen, I'm also going to turn it off. Yes, one thing to keep in mind is if you set up everything, you have to turn off the Acer worker first and then to work on the Acer queen. Okay, now let me get rid of this stuff and go into So before starting installing the Acer queen and Acer worker, come to your network and office share center, right click on the Wi-Fi local on the bottom and you can see this. So we go to change adapter settings. If you correctly install your VMware, you will see a VMware Network Adapter VNet 8 and VNet 1. You have to right-click on the VNet 8, so go to the property, and go to the TCP IPv4. Click on the property and type in this information as I type here. And we click OK. Close. So basically everything is set up here. And let's now start with the work we are going to kick in. Next step, we are going to get the virtual network editors to make sure everything has been sent accord set accordingly. Change the setting, yes. And you, you will see three settings here. Change this one accordingly. And click apply and OK. Now let's open the virtual network, the virtual machine. So first thing first, you have to always start with the Acer Queen. Click OK, it should be working. Yep, so one thing to remember, that depends on how powerful your computer is, always give Queen at least two gigabytes of memory, unless you cannot do this. Because you have limited RAMs, give it one gigabyte minimum. Because when I was doing the first walkthrough, one gigabyte will significantly slow down the system. And since my computer has 16 gigabytes of RAM, I'm going to give Queen a four gigabytes of RAM to make it run faster and give it two core of CPU. So two core process, two process, make it faster. Okay. And then you, we, and now we start a Queen Acer, the Acer Queen. So please be aware that since this is not a super clean install, so something might be a little bit different. Just shoot me an email when you need.
Okay, so we have successfully turned on our Acer Queen. It took a little while. And just you might notice that there's a two fail and one red network here. It might be problematic, but actually it doesn't really matter after the practice, after my walk through that. So now we're going to type in our login information. Because this, this is the trial version for Teradata, though it contains all the necessary functions, but it's after all still one single machine. It will be like, so you just turn in your, put in your login information, which is the root for the account and Acer for okay now we are going to import the VMware for the Acer worker as well just in open it and click Acer worker so if you don't have enough RAM it will just be a little bit slower but it actually still work the same just take your time to wait a little bit I'm going to record the full process so as long as the process goes the same as I show, you pretty much will get a full score, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, now we got our login success, uh, we got our Acer worker successfully set up. And we're going to type in the login information again. The login will be root, and the password will be post will be Easter again. It's time for us to activate the cluster, and we have to log in to the address 192.168.100.100, which is a local address in our computer. So, type in the information which the login, both the login and the password are DB super user, which is you is for database super user. And you just copy and paste it to save some time and to make sure I didn't spell it wrong. Okay now we can see here click the admin cluster management you can see the queen has been activated and the work is ready to work. Just click activate cluster and click OK. You can see here the cluster activation initiated. We just need to wait a little, little bit to the database we just activated. We're just going to click new. We're going to select Aster. Let's just name it class test. Okay, we're going to type in all these information and all these information are going to be put into the word file so it will be much easier and we're just going to type it in. And the database name will be Beehive, and we click Finish. So now we can we connect it to our Beehive database. So in the for this homework, we are going to use a very uh, use an originally built-in database that is going to show you how to import it. So we're going to delete all the data set I just created, which is a drop just to off. In this homework, we are going to work on the dataset called class bank that is originally in the demo file. So we are going to create an empty table first. Just run this query really quick, and this query will be attached to the homework. As you can see, when you refresh our public dataset again, a new table called class bank has been shown, has been created. And when you run it real quick to take a look, you can see that it has nothing in there. It's an empty data set. Now we are going back to Teradata Queen. Oh, I just. Okay. We are going to the data set. We are going to go to the demo file in the Teradata Easter Queen, which is the home Easter dot demo. And then we're going to unzip bank web data. 
Yes, because I have been replaced. I've been unzip this before. I'm going to replace it. So if you, it is your first time to unzip this file, this command might not be happening. And now we're going to put in the co command that's going to load data into the into Teradata Ace the Queen. Just say in the Teradata Studio you can do the same thing, but with the terminal it will be a lot time a lot faster. I tried using the studio to upload it took an hour and now I'm going to show you how fast it is. Just going to do this in terminal. So you can see on this command, we are going to use the n cluster loader, which is a which is a function for Easter Queen, and we are going to use the username db super user with the password db super user in the database beehive, and we are going to load in the bank web data text word. We are going to skip the first row as the first row will be the column name, and we have already created in the Easter Studio, and we are going to click this. And second, to load everything, load 1 million tuples into the table. And now we can go back to the Teradata Studio to see how it works out. Now we got everything loaded. And we're going to take a look on the first 10 comments. Yep. So this is the, how the data set look like. We got customer ID and a session ID. So each time the customer visit this website, we got one session for him, and we identify each customer with the ID. Every and we, this file is tracking the customer's landing pages. Every time they click one other pages, it will record a different page on the different timestamp in the same session. And this is what what we are going to do with the data set. So now that's the interesting part for the data visualization. To, we are now going to prepare the data set for it. The Sankey chart and core chart is something that Tableau cannot really do. And that's why we're using Teradata Easter, right? So in the homework, you are asked, you are asked to create two different Sankey charts, which I just showed you at the very beginning of, the, of this video. And I'm going to show you how to do one of them. So you are going to type in this command, which is the Teradata specified SQL data, SQL comments to create a dimension table, which is going to be used for Teradata App Store, App Center, to make the data visualization. And now we are running it. Okay, now the running is done. And let's see what table did you create. Let's refresh here and I'm going to run the command. So here's how the pass work out. We are selecting the top 40 customer paths from the very beginning account summary page all the way to the last page is going to visit. And this is how the table looks like. And we're going back to the app center. Open Type in this URL into the App Center, which is in, you can copy and paste from the homework. And the password is admin and aster for data. So I already created two Sankey charts. I'm not going to install, uh, uninstall it. I'm going to put up a new Sankey chart, uh, put up a new app. You call it management 490, name it whatever you want, and I'm just my developer and call me Jeffrey. So for class. 
EGMT 490. Okay, now we go to the logic part. Here's the very interesting part. So we can generate the visualization code easily. The type, you still have to type in the bank, uh, the table name, which is bank and pass. Type it. The format will be an M pass output schema, and you're going to do a thank you chart, which is going to call the All the codes are sent. Save. The version, let's make it one because it will be the final version. Okay, we have now made the app successfully and we are now going to configure it. We'll be beehive Test connections. It is okay, it doesn't show anything because in the background everything is running correctly. But in the real world operation, it doesn't look like exactly the same, but just give you a feeling of Teradata. We're going to do it anyway. And now we can say Beehive show up. Click here. Save. And management for 90. Let's call it class demo and run. So it takes a little bit more time than expected, but overall it takes 19 seconds. If you are going to create a different MPAS file, MPAS table, it would take a lot longer, but just wait a little bit since it's less than one minute. So what, what do we got from this table? You can see that every, when a customer lands on accounting summary page, we got to 29,000 landings on this page, and 5,200 of them go to account history, and this page, and after they go to account history, they will land in different pages. Some of them, a little of them, will go to customer support, and a lot of them will go to FAQ and or do some transfer fund transferring or view dep deposit details. And some customer when they look at some account summaries, they will directly go to customer support, means something might be wrong, so they want to know something more about this. And the, for the rest of, for the rest part of the uh, readings, I'm just submit your homework and we're going to see how you feel about these thank you charts.